I just know after four weeks, they got they got to go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Kind of feels like it's been a while. It hasn't, it's been like a week, but you know, Thanksgiving. I do anything, but still, Thanksgiving, that's my excuse right now. If you're new here, my name is Taryn, and let's just jump right into this. So this is my fourth week with these knotless braids, my fourth and final week. And I just figured I'd come up here and show you guys how I've been upkeeping them, how I've been managing them, how I've been itch free even though I've been working out with them since I got them all that good stuff we're just gonna jump right in it's not gonna be a long video here we go so I have four products that I've been rotating through since I got the braids if you watched my first video about the braids I mentioned that I did get box braids back in 2018 and they only lasted about three three and a half weeks if that and it's not because they were a bad job or anything like that. I just could not take them. If you are a curly girl and you wash your hair like once, twice a week, then you know, you know the struggle of keeping a protective style in. My scalp gets super dry, super itchy, and it was just way too much to manage. Not to mention box braids are a lot heavier than knotless braids. So this time around, I made sure to upkeep these and do whatever I have to do to keep them in for a month. Because I wasn't wasting no money out here. No no coins will be wasted in 2019 or 2020 or from there on, okay? So, four products. Let's just jump right into it. So, from the itchiness, I actually use this product when I have my hair straightened as well. It's never led me wrong. I'm a huge fan. And that is the Cantu Shea Butter Apple Cider Vinegar Dry Co-Wash with Tea Tree Oil. So, it's this product right here I hope you can see this I think it was like six bucks if that is y'all it's dry this is basically a dry shampoo this is this is that this is that girl it's super refreshing it helps to cool down my scalp after working out I'm actually gonna apply some before I show you these quick styles I've been wearing and it doesn't break the bank of course it has no sulfates silicones parabens or mineral oil you just spray it like into your scalp really I just separate the braids spray 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 and I'm good to go not to mention it keeps my hair smelling good because I do typically wash my hair so often I don't want my hair smelling bad. I literally had one of my friends smell my hair one day. I was like, hey, does this smell bad? Because, you know, mm -mm, we don't want that. The next product that I've been loving is the Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner from Carol's Daughter. It's this product right here. This is mostly for smell, what I use in moisture. I use this if I'm doing like braids in my hair when it's curly. I don't use it too often. This is like my lazy product, but it's also really good for dry hair as well and my hair tends to be more on the dry side anyway so this is also a great staple to have if i were to choose between the Cantu dry shampoo and this concoction th this is the one so i literally just bought any color applicator bottle you can get these for like a dollar at sally's i'm pretty sure anything with this pointy tip that's what you need. I fill this up with Jamaican castor oil and almond oil. And with the tip of this, it's super easy to just oil your scalp, especially your edges and the, you know, the nape of your neck. Jamaican castor oil is really good for strengthening your hair, growth, all that good stuff. And you know, with the protective style, it could be a little tight sometimes. So definitely in the first two weeks, I was using this a lot on my scalp and on my edges just to protect them a little bit more. But it's super moisturizing. A lot of people don't like castor oil because it's so thick. For me, my hair is more on the dry side. So it still stops the itchiness. Protects my hair. This is like my holy grail. And last but not least, edge control. I use the Cream of Nature Perfect Edges with Argan Oil. Um, I got this in like a goodie bag one time. So I don't really think I paid for it. When it comes to edges and slaying edges, if you see me with my edges slayed, <laughs> I did not do them. I 
did not like really grow up you know getting my edges laid or anything like that i don't know if that's a new school thing i don't know where it came from who started the trend why it's so big <sighs> society it's just society so i have some random edge control gel and a toothbrush and you know whenever i do like a cute little style i'll try to do my edges like keyword i will try i just never been big on it but you know I'm trying. Your girl's out here trying. You know, I'm trying to be hip to the onions and the, the cute little edges and all that good stuff. So, get you some edge control. I like this one. It's moisturizing. And my biggest thing is it doesn't flake up after a day or two days. Like, ain't no crusties in my edges. Those are my four products. Edge control. Dry shampoo. A leave-in conditioner. Black vanilla because it smells bomb. And... A little concoction with Jamaican castor oil and almond oil. Those are the only four products that I've been using over the past month to upkeep this style. I didn't wash them. I didn't like condition them or wet them. I know a lot of people do and I know that's why a lot of people keep them in for longer. For me and my hair and my scalp, I just know after four weeks... They gotta, they gotta go. Shockingly, they've only itched like once or twice and I think... Is because I just did put the dry shampoo on after a few days at the gym and I was just being lazy. I personally like them to be a little bit dingier. Like the first week was cute, like they're nice and fresh, but I like them when they're like a little frizzy, like a little beat up. Is that bad? That's bad. You know how Zoe Kravitz look always look so cute and like her little frizzies? Like that's how I like them. This is my last week with them in and I had no complaints. So like I said, this is going to be a quick, short, cute little video about the upkeep of these sprays. I'm going to show you two hairstyles that I've been rocking the most with them. Sometimes I like them out, but they fall a lot in my face when I'm doing something. Like if I'm walking my dog or whatever, like I don't want them everywhere. So we're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to fast forward through it and then like, you know, show you what I do. <laughs> So right here, I'm just simply applying the dry shampoo all over my scalp just because I did go to the gym earlier that day, so I just want to make sure that my hair is nice and fresh and clean. You want to rub it all in your scalp, make sure it's all in there. So this is the first easy quick style that I normally was wearing literally every single day, especially to the gym. It's a quick half up, half down. I usually if I'm wearing this, I don't do my edges because I, because I just don't, okay? I'm lazy. So this is just a quick one. This is literally every single day, exactly what I do. They're very, very long. My hair is extremely long at the moment, so these are past my booty. So, keep it up my face, real quick, real easy. You know how to do it. <laughs> so the first step for this style is to put almost half of the braids up into one high ponytail. And then just check to make sure that the front braids are all neat and tight before you move on to the next step. This is when I go ahead and take a bigger scrunchie and tie the rest up to the first ponytail. I do this because there's so many braids and the hair is so long it'd be way too heavy and too much to try to do in one ponytail. on my arms and the last step to hide the scrunchie from showing I just take a few braids from the back of the ponytail and just wrap them around it
And this is the second hairstyle that I really, really, really love to rock. This may be the best I've ever done it. I think it's because of the pressure to, you know, make it look decent. But as you probably saw, it takes the most effort. And I actually do my edges when I wear this one because you can't really, you can't really be out here rocking a high pony with not, you know, decent edges. So just tell me in the comments that my edges look good and that I did a good job even though I really don't know how to do them. This was definitely my favorite one to rock. It made me feel the most cute put together, you know. That's it, so I share with you my four little holy grail products for protective styles, especially the Nautilus braids. Two of the hairstyles that I've been rocking the most the past month. In one of my up and coming videos, you'll see the takedown from these back to curly, and I'll be reviewing some really special products that I'm super super excited about because i got them buy one get one 75 percent off but we're gonna talk about that in the next video your girl made it a whole month with this hair so don't ever say i never accomplished something in life because that's probably better than me even like graduating from college but and that is all for me and these knotless braids. Let me know any other protective styles that I should try, like similar to this. And that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little informative, especially with the products that I used. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it. And if you haven't already, because duh, you want to be watching this, go ahead and subscribe for me. And you know what? Comment down below that my edges look good because your girl tried i tried i wasn't gonna try but i tried i tried you know because i'm just out here trying to look good feel good be good all that all that good stuff <laughs> i will see you guys in my next one bye oh my god i just got this over my shirt Let's see Now I wasted all this product for what? Terrence?